Hello, I'm Debbie Morgan. I'm back again to talk about maths and the number blocks and to engage in some maths with you. I wonder what the episode is I'm going to do today. I'm going to give you a clue. Let's watch what happens. Yeah, it's about nine. OK, um, just pause the video now and just have a chat to your adult. If you've watched the episode, what did you notice about the episode? What happened? What do the number blocks do? What did nine do? Are you back? Good. OK. Um, you probably talked about that in the episode, um, four is a bit sad at the beginning. It's unlike four to be sad. He's happy first because he's a square, but then he realizes he's the only square. There's no other squares until, of course, nine appears. So this episode makes four super happy because he's got a friend, another square. That's really interesting, isn't it? I wonder if you've thought about four being a square before. Um, what's a square? A square is a number that has the same on each side. It makes a square shape. So four is two this way and two this way. It makes a square shape. That's really interesting in maths. Numbers that can make square shapes. And four can make a share square shape and so can nine. So in this episode, we're thinking about squares. Earlier in the episode, eight tries to make a square. And this is what he ends up with. He ends up with a shape with a hole in the middle, which they say doesn't really count. It's not really a square if it's got a missing look. I can poke my finger through if it's got a missing block in the middle. But of course, when one jumps into that square, it fills it in. It fills in that hole and makes a square. The one in the middle. OK, so one saves a day and makes another square and makes nine. It's really exciting. I wonder if you can make some squares. Um, I'm wondering if you can make a, a draw a square um, or make a square on, on some cardboard um, and just have a look at uh, and play this game with me. See if you can put the ducks, some ducks or some blocks of anything else you have. Um, have two one color and two the other color. Oh. And I can put my ducks in that way. I can have two that way and two that way. Is there another way I can arrange my ducks? Hmm. I can also put two that way and two that way because it's a square. Oh, can we do it with a three by three? This time, make a square three by three. You can pause the video now or do it later. Um, and see if you can put some blocks in. You need three of one color, three of another color, and three of a third color, and see if you can arrange them in threes. Okay, here we go. I put my three yellow ones across the top, three green ones in the middle, and my three brown ones at the bottom. And I can see, how many threes can I see? Three threes. I can see three threes. And something special about three threes is that three threes make nine. Um, and two twos make four. So there's something special about these square numbers. Um, so there's our two squares, our four and our nine, who become best friends because they're both squares. I'd like you to investigate and play with and play with your blocks to see if there's any other square numbers that you can make. I wonder if you can discover other square numbers as well as making four and nine and making them in their square shape. There's two, just checking that four is too long, two blocks tall, and he's also two blocks wide. And let's see if three can check that nine is three blocks tall. Yes, he is. He's three blocks tall and three blocks wide. So you might want to do a bit of checking with your, with your squares to make sure that the same number of blocks tall as they are wide. Just before I leave you, just a word a word to the adults. In this episode, we looked at nine. Um, 
And we particularly drew out one of the properties of nine, um, and that is that nine is a square number. Obviously, at this stage, young children will not be learning about square numbers, but it's good to get them interested in the shapes that, that, that numbers can make. Using their blocks or drawing squares on paper um, is really good activity. Get them to investigate how many, how many other number, square numbers they can make um, and get them curious about numbers and the shapes that they can make. Goodbye, everyone. Have fun.